November. In February, I fell apart. Heaviness just came over me where I just started weeping uncontrollably. And it's like your whole world fell apart. It seemed like my, my God put the pause button on in my life. I just wanted to stay by myself. I didn't want to do anything. And I just started to lose it, but it was like, well, I can't lose it because I'm the Christian one here, and if I lose it, it will be a bad testimony. You can't remember things, uh, and the simple things like, you know, where you put your car keys, did you turn something off, did you turn something on, you know, did you cry about this already, you seem like I cried earlier today. And you go outside and you look around and you wonder why the whole world just doesn't stop for this period of time. People are still going to Disneyland and eating ice cream cones and, you know, don't they know what horrific thing, you know, has gone on. One day, someone you love will die. When this happens, you'll likely experience more pain than you've ever imagined. I'm Zig Ziglar. Burying my daughter was painful, and it taught me this. When you're grieving, it's not the time to be strong. It's the time to be human. That's why I needed people who would listen to me, care for me, and point me to the comfort that only God offers. And if you or someone you know is grieving, you need the same. That's why there's Grief Share. Grief Share is a Christ-centered, video-based, small group designed to help you along your journey of grief. At each Grief Share session, you'll hear from people who've lost loved ones. They'll share what they did to heal from their grief. The best thing I can tell you is to lean into it. Just take it like waves of an ocean. Don't try to run from it. Don't try to numb it. Don't try to pretend it isn't so. Also, each session contains excerpts from interviews with leading experts on grief recovery, many of whom have been touched by grief. I think the people around us don't understand grief unless they've been through it themselves. And Christ wept before the tomb of a dear friend. And in so doing, pictured for us that it's not wrong to grief. While participating in a Grief Share group, you will receive a Grief Share workbook to help you take notes, journal, and learn about grief recovery from a biblical perspective. If someone you know is grieving the death of a loved one, let him or her know about Grief Share. And keep in mind that even if that person's grief isn't fresh, participating in a Grief Share group will benefit him or her. And if you recently lost someone, you should consider coming out to a Grief Share group Make a commitment to attend at least three sessions and then decide if Grief Share is right for you. Remember, the journey from mourning to joy shouldn't be walked alone. That's why there's Grief Share.